subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Friends, welcome to Manipal Kitchen. Today I would like to share the recipe of Kashmiri Dhammalu, which is a good side dish for chapati, roti and naan. So take 25 washed baby potatoes. Peel it and cook it in the cooker till soft. Now just prick them with the help of a fork all over. I am just showing you one of them prick, pricking. Huh? Now keep one two to three tablespoon cooking oil in a wide pan on low flame. When it is hot, add one teaspoon cumin seed to it. When it starts crackling, add one green chilli finely chopped to it. Both of them are frying. By then you add two bay leaves and mix and fry them all. Uh, now add 1 teaspoon fennel powder to it and mix till combined and aromatic. Now add 1 tablespoon besan atta and mix and combine it in the hot oil without lumps for 1 minute on low flame. Add cloves powder of 3 cloves hmm, and combine it well in the oil till aromatic. The whole thing turns aromatic. Add 1 teaspoon baggy chilli powder and fry it because when you fry this in the hot oil, it gives you a wonderful color to the dish. Add 3 tablespoons of cashew powder to it and fry it till combined and aromatic for 1 minute on low, fin, low flame so that everything, the besanata and all other ingredients get combined. Add half teaspoon turmeric powder and 1 teaspoon coriander powder to, it, to the mix and give a good mix to it and mix till combined on low flame for 1 minute. Now add half teaspoon garam masala powder and 1 teaspoon kasuri methi powder. Just crush it and add. Okay and 1 third teaspoon cumin powder. Give a good mix to it so that everything gets combined and aromatic on low flame for a minute. Now everything is mixed well and combined. Add two big chopped tomatoes which will be around one, three fourth cup and add salt as needed to the dish. Mix till combined and tomatoes are a little bit wilted in the mix. Now see tomatoes are wilted. So we have uh, combined it for 1 minute. Now add 1 cup of boiling water to it. Give a good mix. And it's better to cover and cook on low flame for about 5 minutes. So that tomato gets cooked and all the mix of the masalas get combined and oil is released. Look now oil is released. Now just give a good mix to it. We should never keep this uh, dish on the on high flame because it it will get burnt. So add half cup yogurt to it. Now mix till combined on low flame. Now it is combined and add pricked potatoes to it. I have used 25 potatoes but among them I have crushed two of them later to add. Now mix again on low flame later to add to thicken the gravy. So now add those crisp potatoes to it and give a good mix. Again mix on low flame. Add one cup hot water again. And give a good mix. Cover and cook on low flame. For about 5 minutes again and check. See now the oil is released, gravy is thickened and the dish is ready. Give a good mix to the mix, give a good mix to the dish. Now see ready aloo dum, very yum. So we can enjoy it with, see aloo dum is ready, we can enjoy it with chapati and I have shown it to you the uh, plate containing chapati and aloo dum. So subscribe to my channel and bye for now.